Hello, Libra couples. Welcome. If this is your first time, I'm Phoenix. You can click like, subscribe, you can share me. And if this is a returning Libra couple, welcome back, guys. I've been gone for a couple weeks, but I'm here to make up the lost time. Um, I was just busy. I've been doing everything. So, <laughs> and I've been doing reading, so I'm going a little hoarse. <laughs> but, um, nevertheless, I'm making up for lost time, Libra couples, because I haven't been here. So, I did a four-card spread, um, fourth-card Jermaine messages. I did a soulmate spread to my right, your left, past, present, future. Um, if you look this way, you really can't see because it's so big. So many cards because I had to hook y'all up. You get to ask Spirit a question. I'll flip this at the end for you. That card there. The answer to your question. And then at the top, you got your usual um, game spread. So, yeah. Okay. So, if it don't apply, let it fly. Uh, everything is not for everybody. Every read ain't for everybody. There's other readers on here you can go listen to, okay? So, um, but for my subscribers, I do apologize. So, I'm back and I'm ready. And I am going to jump straight into your read at this time, Libra couples. <clears throat> at the crown of your read, you got the Ten of Pentacles upright. Pentacles represent money finances um but this is also a uh, virgo taurus capricorn energy the ten of pentacles is family matters cultures wills religions traditions this is creating long-term plans with the legacy um this is marrying to continue something so someone could be marrying to for wealth <clears throat> somebody could be saying because someone looks attractive it's like having a game. Oh, this my kid's mom, or this my baby mom, or my baby daddy, or they got a place to stay, or they got a car, or they're very popular. Um, but it's a game for someone, marrying for money, seeing a pattern of the game, um, and it being beneficial to you and staying for that reason. Oh well, so and so I never do this, so so I'll stay. This is long term, long term security and stability based on a solid foundation. But the sad foundation being what I see it. Domestic harmony and bliss. This is family values. Deeper commitment. Moving in together. Settling down. This is marriage engagement. This is marrying into wealth of a family. This is family future things put into place for security. Like buying a house. Like You could be talking to your mate about just being stable. Like what you want to do. Cars, money, houses, careers. This is um, if you guys hit... A rough patch, you and your partner have different backgrounds, different upbringing, and that could be the hiccup in the road. Um, different family backgrounds and traditions. This is recognizing root of issue to resolve the conflict, and this is willing to compromise, merge traditions to create new ones that you are unique to. So it's basically, um, you know, like some people was raised on love and some was raised on survival it's combining the two to compromise to make everything okay and everybody comfortable in a situation that's what that basically means and then you got the three of swords and it is in reverse and, um why is the three of swords in reverse this is air sign energy of is your this is a libra gemini aquarius energy <clears throat> Okay, I'm tripping. I jumped the gun. Yeah, air sign energy, the three of um, swords, and it is facing upright. The three of swords is um, it's not all bad. The most difficult situation in your life often teaches you more about who you are and what you are capable of. Even the good and the bad things. This is giving yourself space and time to heal. Um, if you need support, don't be scared to reach out to people that love you. It's so crazy. That's one of your cards right there. Yeah, so that's double confirmation. Don't be afraid to reach out to people that love you. And you got that confirmation, even though I'm not to that card, but I just had to tell you. Yeah, it's saying reach out. There's nothing wrong with reaching out to people that love you, that make you feel good. With this three of uh, swords. Then you got the three of wands. Um, it is in reverse. The three of wands represent fire. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. 
it is in reverse. So when the three of wands is in reverse, it's being unrealistic, impractical plans, um, lack of help. <clears throat> this is too high, not there. This is the promise of help, but won't be there. Someone promising they're going to do something and promising. Prom and you're like, oh, you keep promising this. You're promising that. And those promises coming back empty for you. Um, this is also um, the keep giving excuses of why they won't and can't help. Oh, I can't do this because I can't because I got this going on. But it's basically a uh, goal too high to meet not being real and some of you know your partner can't even reach these goals you set these high expectations for this person and that's not they not they're not there yet and you need to be realistic about it because it's going to disappoint you only if you don't come to realization and realize they are just not ready yet you know and then last but not least you got the chariot and it is sitting upright the chariot is um sagittarius energy hold on y'all one second yeah the chariot is sagittarius energy so some of you could be dating a sagittarius or dealing with the sagittarius um but the chariot is about movement um change growth it's like basically saying um mm, that changes on the upbringing for you guys. Um, even some someone might be traveling. Your spouse might be going out of town. Or you might be thinking about leaving. Because the chariot is about leaving. But it could be the Sagittarius in your life thinking about leaving. Or you thinking about leaving the Sagittarius. But the chariot is also about goals and sight. Having things in sight that you want. Greatness from hard work. Things moving fast. Um, you need to stay in control. Because things can move so fast, you can lose control. Understanding everything happens and staying in control. This is completing the race, doing what you want to do. Someone could be doing what they want to do in a relationship, or either you're doing what you want to do. Maybe with no regards to the other person. <clears throat> and then, for your... Uh, soul may read you got the first card you got is forgive and what forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you will experience more love in your present moment so it's about letting go and forgiving yourself forgiving prior partners learning from five prior partners and just learning from different experiences and letting go for this situation to be what it needs to be you need to re relinquish let go release and heal the past because the past is a past for a reason and it's it's definitely not something that should be uh affecting the situation now especially if it's not even the same person and even if it is the same person it's about you guys learning and forgiving each other to move forward you have let your friends help help you for your current situation ask and accept support from others uh -oh. Libra couples. This is um, allow others to help to talk talk it out. Don't keep things bottled up. Discuss feelings, hopes, and dreams. They will offer support, give advice. Quality time with friends need to get out. Renew relationship excitement. Separation. By going out, freeing yourself with your friends. <clears throat> yep. If you go out and free yourself with your friends, you know. You might come back and everybody in a better mood or whatever the case may be. Sometimes you need a little space. Not too much, just a little bit. Future. You got passion. It says, allow your heart and soul to sing with passion, with joy. Um, this is um, basically you have the power to revive passion in your life. Do the things that bring you joy, hobbies, activities, going out with friends. Whatever it brings your heart joy, anything that brings your heart joy, um, it will stir up your love life. Be free as a bird. Enjoy the moment completely. Yeah. For the answer to your question, you have Libra couples. The universe says yes. Yes, 
yes, yes. And for your first card, you got what that the universe says, yes. Love can hurt like hell. Breathe through that shit. Ten of Pentacles, you got you are not being heard. Say that shit louder. For the three of hearts, you got you're hot, smart, and got a great ass. Your person is lucky. Remind them. Then you guys, we can't be all things. We can't be all things. Your ass needs some help. Ask for it. Hire it. Make it happen. With the three of wands in reverse. And with this chariot, with the Sagittarius, it says spend time with Bay. Make art, love, or music. Okay, Libra couples, this has been your love read. Click like, subscribe, share me. Come back and see me. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified when I do readings. And this is your love read for couples, Libras. I'll be back in a week or so. I'm Phoenix Rising, sending love and light your way, guys. Take care. Till next time. Bye-bye.